Hi everyone, this is Monique Morrow and I'd like to discuss with you my latest uh, blog in terms of AI and AR creating value for the enterprise. Uh, certainly uh, we know uh, that are de through devices that are coming uh, in communications that um, there, these, the implications of uh, these technologies have, uh, have certainly been discussed. What I'm really more interested in is how these technologies can uh, indeed create value and what is the balance between creating value and the potential for abuse. There are a number of ways um, that AR can add value uh, to a company and Caterpillar is an example of uh, using AR to actually um, enhance its workforce and for example through an iPad and um, uh, AR software uh, what uh, Caterpillar as a company is doing is um, creating solutions uh, for for the people who are providing maintenance the workers who are providing maintenance in in the field. Another example if you will is the processes that are occurring in the office and there is a, um, a very interesting company called Unitive where um, they're through artificial intelligence that uh, saw uh, the, comp the computer scientist who's founded the company uh, Laura Mather is using Unitiv uh, Unitiv to actually mitigate against unconscious bias through hiring practices and so certainly it's to ensure that through this set of technologies that the best candidate can be can be hired however there is the potential for abuse and, and this potential for abuse is being looked at by uh, various uh, organizations one is the IEEE um, uh, global initiative around um, ethics and autonomous systems that is asking tough questions as to what um, what should we be cognizant of in, in, in the use of technology what are what are the ethical uses in terms of posing those questions, what, how does it impact uh, legal study? How does it impact uh, uh, the experiential, um, uh, the potential for experiential, such that you do not uh, take away from randomness? So that is the IEEE uh, example, um, and and they're certainly looking at uh, what could code of, uh, codes of conduct uh, appear to be like, and also what are the issues of, of, of standards that need to or technologies underpinning uh, augmented reality and AI that need to be standardized. Uh, there is a there's work in place by uh, Kate Crawford and Mer Meredith Whitaker. They founded a New York based initiative around um, artificial intelligence now to actually double click and look at um, you know the uses of AI uh, in terms of hiring, uh, legal, the infrastructure, what are the social impacts, um, and to pose uh, uh, hard questions and, and ensure that there are uh, the debates are open and discussions are open, um, because as uh, as Kate's Kate and uh, Meredith's organization assert that data reflects the social and political conditions and in, in, in the way it is collected, and AI is able to see and that is see in quotes what is the data that is given. So the, this can have and does have the potential for biased outcomes and we just need to be cognizant of it. Finally I'd like to uh, look at um, in, in our discussion is what is the implication of these technologies or uh, AR and AI in the future of jobs. Uh, we do know that what it will be automated, uh, what is will be automated and what can be automated but however how do we create, create smart jobs uh, for people who will be uh, impacted. Uh, uh, the thesis here is that everyone has the um, the, the right to work and they have the right for, to have the great job, the great job that is targeted for them. And so we need to balance between the wonderful uses of, of these technologies in terms of creating value in companies uh, while also proposing the debate in terms of the potential for abuse and also ensuring that people uh, who are affected by automation will have a, a fantastic job targeted for them. Um, applying the, these benefits um, to, to our society, um, I am very, very optimistic that uh, we will have, a, a, you know, not a dystopian view, but uh, a humanitarian view in the future. I do look forward to hearing from you and your insights um, as to how we can create value in enterprises, how we can also uh, watch for the potential for abuse, and most importantly, how we can create jobs for people now and in the future. Thank you.